today we're going to have a look at this new rifle from Bow Dynamics. It's their Shield LT595. I've already had a look at the other LT595 in two tone, which you can see the video. I'll put a link in the comments box below. This is a shorter version. We're also going to have a look at their ammo. And I've got two magazines because I'm going to fill one with blasters. 0.25 and one with the Bow Dynamics 0.25 biodegradable BBs, and we'll test it out of this rifle and see where we go. So let's just have a look at the rifle. Right. So inside you've got their manual. Yep. Two. Velcro patches, their 30 round drill cap magazine, and then we got the rifle. That to the side. Okay. Taking a look at the rifle, you've got the flip up side and the folding side at the front, the angled foregrip at the front, and your sliding stock at the rear. Again, it's a crane style stock, so you can put your battery in that, and then you've got a nice ergonomic pistol grip with the Lonix logo. Again, you've got the Lonix logo on the receiver with the blowback adaptive weapon and what model it is, and the Bow Dynamics logo there. You've got a working bolt bolt release and a very nice steel disc cover. Virtually styled hop which is a nice little feature so the hop doesn't adjust when shooting. you got a nice multi point sling attachment at the rear so you can put either left or right you can put one or two points onto the onto there as you can see you got a magpul style 30 round and there's the real P mag so you can see that it is pretty much identical the only thing is the base plate on this slides off compared to a push button on the real mag Another nice feature I've noticed on this one over the other one is you've got a number engraved in the back which I believe is a unique number. We'll get clarification on that later. I'll put that in the comments section below as well. I'm just going to bring in Bigger Brother which I've been using quite a bit that we did a review of. So I've got my Silence Run ACOG style scope little mini grip at the front. Used it a few times and it's got 11.1 volt battery in it as well. And again, it have got the 30 round mag but I do tend to use the P-mags because I found these ones feed in it. So, putting the two side by side you can see it's a little bit shorter so this is for CQV. I would like to say to Bodo, it's just on this one, that changing the battery, you take the thing off, but the tab there is a little as broken. So that's just something to keep an eye out when you have it yourself. It doesn't come off in play, but it's just something to keep an eye out. Okay, so let's put that away. If you want to see this rifle firing through a chrono and everything like that, have a look at the other video. This one is identical power wise and everything like that. Checked it, it's just under 350 FPS. I am, I'm not getting the chrono out today um, just because we're having a look at this and the ammo. So, just bear with me a second while I put the battery in this one.
We've now got the battery in. Took a few more attempts to get it in properly, so I did it off screen. But as you can see, the battery's in. Also, I've taken time just to load this magazine with some blaster 0.25 BBs. So we're bringing in the photodynamics. Haven't actually opened it, so we don't even know what the colour of the ammo is or anything like that. Let's just open it and have a look. Right, nice white BBs in there. So this ammo is about 1,800 rounds. It's 0.25 and it's a biodegradable ammo. It also comes in 0.23, 0 0.30. I'll be having a look later at the 0.23 and the 0 0.30 in my other rifles. Might not do a video review like this. I might do a shooting test and just say I was using the ammo. So I'll be putting the 0.3s in my SVD running 400 FPS which is the Saima version and the 0.23 I will probably put it in my other Bodynamics rifle when I skirmish at or maybe the other rifle I'm going to review and I'll put a link to that so you can see I won't say the name of it on this view okay so I'm just going to move the camera now and then we'll have a quick shooting review range set up now um, it's about 20 metres from where I'll be shooting. Just before I do shooting the test, you can see it has, it has a simulated recoil. They do a version with a full recoil, which has it moving parts in the um, stock tube, but this one is just simulated like the other version that I did earlier. With this, it does actually give a fair bit of belt recoil just from the simulated recoil, but nothing like the actual full recoil that they do. Just to show the rate of fire, that is on fully auto on the 11.1. Okay, we shoot aiming at the tree just down there, and that's my sighted post, and the first magazine is Blaster 0.25 PVs. And now just this little short blast of fully auto. Okay. So next off, we'll change magazine and we'll test against the Bow Dynamics ammo and see what that comes in. And a short little blast of the auto. It's in conclusion, you can see the rifle performs very nicely, both single shot and also for the auto. The felt recoil from the simulated unit is brilliant and um, adds a lot better fun to the day. The full recoil version is going to add a lot, lot more enjoyment to your day. The angle of foregrip gives you good stability, so that's brilliant that they've included that. The accuracy is brilliant, so you can use this in woodland and CQB. Um, I'm going to be skirmishing this in the woodland environment happily all, all day long. I will comment in below where I skirmish, so if anybody wants to have a look at these rifles before they buy, they can happily do that. Going on to the ammo, the 0.25 biodegradable BBs from Bowdynamics 
are actually more accurate than the blessed of non-biodegradable BBs that I've got, which I believe are the blasted devils and a couple of normal blasters because I've got an empty bottle of them. So I'm going to be getting a lot more of the Bow Dynamics ammo in and be running that once my supplies of the armor ammo have run out. Okay. If you've got any questions, again, leave them in the comments, I will answer them. Like and subscribe me, and also check me out on Facebook, even more website, and it'll help me out. Thank you.